is your boy Bino. Happy Sunday to everybody. I know we have the Sunday's game. Uh, Ravens, Lions, Chiefs, and Niners. I'm definitely going to be hoping to see which team is going to prevail, but I'm not going to talk about football because I'm not expert at it. I'm not expert at it, so I don't really care. I did, I did say I was not going to cop these a while back to a group of friends, but I cop them. And honestly, man, I really was Eh, I don't know. They kind of remind me a lot more like the other pair that I have, uh, you know, but they didn't cap my eye. They ain't caught my eye. And it's like a decent colorway, but I feel like it was more of a bit of a sweet taste why I caught them. So we have the Air Jordan 1 Yellow Orc, um, you know, kind of reminds me of the University Blue Silhouette colorway that came out back in either 2019, 2020. This shoe is a combination of yellow, of orc, of gold, black, and sail color, along with a mix of, you know, I just said along with a mix of different attributes to it. This shoe came out on January 13th for a retail price of 180. The whole story behind it, you know, is just like electrifying, it's just to electrify Michael Jordan's career and the Jordan ones. Whether it's dropping 63 points, whether it was debuting 1985, or whether it's the band of Air Jordan 1 silhouettes, this shoe says it all. Not this colorway, but the whole Jordan model particularly says it all. Now, the the or the yellow colorway, the yellow hitting on the Jordan 1, it kind of sits well because, you know, it's a pre, it's like an all suede Jordan. And it's there's pros and cons about wearing all suede Jordan. One because of rain. Two because of the fact that you can step on some shit and the like the suede like this premium leather suede. Well, not leather. This premium suede can get fucked up easily. But um, yeah, someone just texted me, but I'm texting later. But the details of this shoe is amazing. We got the bottom, which is highlighted pollen gold. We got the uppers around with a black Nike check surrounding on the left side of the shoe, left side of this shoe and the right side as well. And you have that yellow orc surrounding that whole model, the one along with the Jumpman wing logo on the side, of course, traditionally. On the back, we have a perfectly symmetrical back heel, back of the heel as well too, along with, uh, you know, like this. But when you look closer, like, like this whole tumble of, the, of this upper right here is amazing. Black laces, of course. And so right here we have Nike Air, yellow, black writing, size 11, of course. Stitching looks good. Toe box looks good as well too. Let's try my trick real quick, as you can see. Like everything looks good. On top of the toe box, let's talk about that. Like it looks really good. Like really good and no problems at all on this shoe. Looks pretty good. We can, I can show you the upper part. Comes with a tag. One says Chinese and the other one says, please note, the upper material upper material is Nubuck leather. Uh, leather will pollute. And it's leather application. So, gotta clean the leather, y'all. Gotta clean it. So this comes with a tag saying you gotta come clean the leather. Which is weird. I've never seen this before on the Jordan, but it, it beats me. It works, so hey. Um, but to find this, you can find this on StockX, you can find this on Foot Locker. I bought this on Foot Locker the day it came out, so one thing I like about it was that it was just sitting on shelves and no one didn't want to buy it. So I copped it for myself when I was returning a pair of Uggs. I'm glad that I got this pair, and I'm glad that if anyone has it, let me know how y'all feel about this shoe. But we're going to get to, you know, this offer review very shortly. And I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday, and, you know. And I know for a fact that next month is Black History Month and an early Black History Month. On to the review. Let's go.